Okay, so let's build this up into a bit more of a, uh, you know, sort of classic, sort of housey, housey tacky kind of groove. So let's do some of the classic things. Stick a clap on the uh, on the second and fourth beat. So you can hear anything that lands on the beats. So the uh, those claps, most of the claps sound exactly the same with and without swing. Anything that lands on the off beats here, so uh, the sort of exactly halfway between one beat and the next. Also, nothing happens. But these ones and these ones are the ones that get swung. So if we put this little extra clap here on the last sixteenth, you uh, you'll then hear that you get that nice little swing off the end of it, and uh, we can do that. So I'm going to put a few snares and some open hats and stuff in. Um, and just turn the groove on and off and you'll start to hear some things that you'll have heard in tracks before um, that yeah you may or may not have, uh, have realised that how much difference to the feel adding the swing makes. Let's get some toms in there. Uh, so we're getting we're getting into sort of classic sort of hard floor Jeff Mills 909 kind of territory here. But all of that feel comes from the swing. So I'll get some toms in here to kind of create a bit of bottom end energy, and then I'll sort of turn the swing on and off just so you can hear hear what's going on. So we've got a uh, kind of swingy little uh, old school, very sort of classic techno sort of drum pattern going on there um, with a fair bit of swing on it. So we've got the full strength swing turned up to 57% there. So I'm going to hit play again now, um, but then turn the amount there all the way down or maybe just turn the groove off there completely. And you'll hear how much life the swing gives to this kind of uh, this kind of groove. And then with the swing. So you can hear straight away, it gives it, I mean, I've, obviously I've programmed that groove with the swing in mind. You know, you would have done things differently if you were trying to make a straight groove. But it's a good illustration of uh, how, yeah, how much feel just that bit of timing change can make. I'll just sort of drag the slider up and down as well now. So you can hear that even a little bit can make quite a big difference. So yeah, there is there's obviously a sweet spot with it, you know, all the way up at 100% there. It was starting to sound a little bit messy, a little bit crazy. 
Um, you know, you can get away with that at lower BPMs, but not really at house and techno tempo. Um, but yeah, so that's a basic illustration of how it works on drums. So.